Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> um, I haven't made a little video uh, blog about how I've been doing lately. It's been a kind of a rough month or so. Um, so I did shave my head because uh, this, this hair is really patchy. So I'm going to need to shave it again so it doesn't look so patchy. Um, but about a month and a half ago, I tripped and fell on the same knee I fell on in May and it's been giving me hell since and the reason why I bring that up is because mobility is extremely important and keeping your strength up is important while you're going through you know life but in being your cancer treatment if if you you know become immobile or less mobile you start to decondition your muscles will atrophy, you'll become weaker, and this becomes a vicious cycle. Um, it's something I hadn't really thought about before. <clears throat> and then I'm, of, of course, I'm dealing with the other issues. And, um, you know, the in her too is working well for me. I can tell it's working well. But um, I'm... I'm kind of constantly dehydrated on it so it's something that I struggle with and the dehydration I get really shaky and my throat gets I get really raspy I you can tell I'm dehydrated but I, I I'll weigh myself at night when I'm going through this like I can't hold on to water stuff I just I drink it and it pees right out which I guess it's my body's way of saying hey we're flushing out all those chemicals so we can feel better sooner which is fine but you know, the muscles need some, and the brain needs some water too, you know. <laughs> so let's not like throw it all away so fast. Um, but, uh, you know, the shakies is not too bad this morning. So I, I was, I felt terrible last night. I was cognitively, I would say impaired. And I was really almost to the point where I might want to go to the ER because of the dehydration. Because <clears throat> my heart rate, I was, I had... Mild tachycardia it was only, you know, low 100s. But um, I felt terrible mentally. I just, I was almost mentally not there. And that's very strange for me. But I've also been dealing with just chronic insomnia. Some nights I'll get two, three hours, you know, and it'll be like an hour there, maybe two hours there. And other nights will be four or five hours, but I haven't had a good solid sleep in at least a month and a half. So that also has been making my cognitive abilities. <laughs> but um, so it's, you know, there's, it's concerning, you know, and but I'm hanging in there. <clears throat> like I said, the scan came back fantastic. Um, I can tell that things are still improving because um, some of the swallowing and burping issues that like, I, I was having a really hard time burping and swallowing because of all the inflammation and the cancer, which is kind of like squeezing everything. So that's, you know, better. But, you know, when I blew out my knee almost six weeks ago, I went on dexamethasone, which helped for a while, but then it stopped working and... Um, and with dexamethasone, you can't just quit cold turkey if you've been doing it more than a week. And I'd have been doing it for a month, so I have to start backing off. And during that time, I developed um, an oral yeast infection. It's called candiditis, I believe. And, and then I believe it traveled into my intestines and into my anal cavity. And let me tell you, that is some burning hell down there when that happens, because... Everything gets inflamed. Stuff doesn't want to come out. And when it does come out, it burns like someone poured hydraulic acid on your rear. And it was just sitting there and my whole body would be shaking in pain. And I'd be like crying. And it was pretty horrible. And I finally contacted my doctor because I was like, this is not right. I thought maybe it's just, you know, acid or something, you know, from the medication. or, But no, I'm... It, was, it turned out that, that it was definitely an infection. And even though I never really developed a fever from it, so it's just 
severe inflammation, hemorrhoids, bleeding, just, uh, just, it was, it's still not healed. It's only been, I've been on the medications for, this will be day three, I think. I'm on it for 10 days, but I'm all, I can already tell my mouth there's no more white plaques in there. So I know it's already starting to work. But, and that's, and that's another thing to watch out for too. If you're on steroids, you know, or for pain or whatever, is make sure you catch the candiditis early. Because it's also causing a malnutrition, which is making me weak, making me prone to fall again. Yeah, no more falling. I don't want to fall again because that could make something else broke. <laughs> but um, otherwise, I'm in good spirits. I mean, it's just a month and a half of being, you know, basically crippled. You know, I, I hobble around. I'm able to take care of the things I want to take care of. But it's just I, I'm limited. There comes a point where I can't do no more because my knee blows up. It literally will blow up. I mean, <laughs> I can feel that pressing against my pants by the end of the day, where the knee is. People can see it. They can tell the difference. That's how swollen it gets. So, um, yeah. Um, there's And there, I've talked to doctors about it, and they says, well, if we poke a hole in it and drain it, it might get infected. I'm like, ooh, I don't want that. You know, and he's, it basically, the doctor says there's not much you can do. It's just to let it heal. And so it looks like I'm going to be letting it heal for a couple more weeks or another month. I don't know. Because the problem when you're doing chemo and you're injured, things don't heal as fast. So things take longer to heal. Which kind of stinks, but that's just a fact of life. <laughs> but on the, on the on the good side... My chemo nails are almost growing out from the tucatinib. The tucatinib was bad on my nails. But the in her too, it's, you know, my, my nail beds are really white. I'm not sure if that's because I'm, you know, I'm somewhat anemic. I'm not severely anemic, but I'm a little bit anemic. That's normal prior going through chemo. <clears throat> but um, it's been a rough month, and I, I haven't been keeping my journal, and it's just... Excuse me. It's, but I, but I'm doing okay. I'm, I think once I figure out my dehydration issues, which I probably should just contact my doctor and do a hydration session, it'd probably help a lot temporarily. But I'm trying to resolve it at home. I mean, it's just a matter of drinking enough, and I'm not a really big drinker, although I do like my Gatorade, and it seems to encourage me to drink more. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys. I do appreciate your comments and support and, you know, but <clears throat> wanted to share those insights about, you know, the candiditis, the oral thrush, you know, steroids, mobility, keeping your strength up, because once you start spiraling down, it's, it's a bad road. And I've been fighting that this year. This year's been a hard year for me for for uh, deconditioning. So I'm I'm really trying hard to push myself enough in certain situations, but not so much that it's going to make it worse. And part of my problem is is I like to like get in there and massage stuff, <laughs> and I'm notorious for over massaging. And I think. That might have been part of my problem with my knee yesterday as I was trying to do some rehabilitation. To They, they don't know what happened with my knee. They didn't scan it. So, um, But I think it's a tendon that's around the knee or adjacent to the knee that's damaged. Um, so I tried to massage it. It's been, you know, I damaged it like six weeks ago, right? It should be getting better. But no, and it got angry. It got very angry. <laughs> so I think that's the second time I've done that. So I'm pretty sure that the massage made it worse. So I will not be doing that again. Hopefully I'll remember if my brain fog doesn't overtake me. But anyway, um, if you have any questions or, you know, thoughts, 
I will try to answer them in the comment sections or even make a video if it's something that's really kind of like, oh. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to try to have a good day. I'm taking a profile up the yin yang to keep my knee from screaming at me when I'm trying to walk. So <clears throat> take care, find your joy, share your joy, and make memories worth remembering.